Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel, Crystal here. <laughs> new year and so many things. It's like a brand new fresh start and I'll tell you what, as a creative person, my mind just kind of explodes at the beginning of the year, like a week leading up to, and probably the first couple months my brain is just on overload with all kinds of great new crazy ideas for being creative and setting new goals and habits and uh, I'm praying for consistency as I move forward this year but I'm really very super excited about um, about getting in this self-care planner let me close it up for you it was uh, in the self-care happy box from happy planner I did turn this into a Franken planner I actually added a teacher layout for keeping track of all of my personal goals um, for like my health, my uh, spiritual health, my my personal finances, like not my family's finances, but my own personal finances. Not that we keep our money separate, but I have an allowance every month <laughs> or wait, what most people would like call mad money. My husband calls it my sticker money, <laughs> my planner supply money. Um, but just, uh, this is just a focus on me, the things that I'm trying to work on, improve, to, um, just be a better steward with my time, with the resources that God's given me and to be able to shine that light that he, that, that he pours out in me. So all that aside, I appreciate y'all so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new and you are enjoying the content, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That'll give you the chance to be able to see my content as soon as it comes out and you won't have to wait for me to share it on social media platforms. For those of you that are return viewers, as always, big happy hearts to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me on this crazy wild journey. This is my second year as a decorative planner. And I'll tell you what, I, I learned so much about myself last year through my, my first year's journey. Um, I've grown a lot. I was looking at old photos and old spreads and old videos and oh my word. <laughs> they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but I have learned a lot this last year and I'm looking forward to learning all kinds of new things this year as well. And I sure hope you guys will stick around and join me for that. All right, let's move on. Uh, this LaFleur sticker book was out of stock for a very long time. I know I didn't need it. I have a problem. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to therapy for it, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so I'm not going to do an entire flip through, but I just wanted to show you guys. Let me make sure I'm in frame. I get, I get a little crazy up in this, this new filming area. Um, I have to say that I love the mix of fonts. I love that it's block font and it's script. And it's a really pretty, um, know if you guys can see it but like a very pretty rose gold uh, foiling this is just such a delicate book with absolutely just delicate moths looks like uh, magnolias maybe uh, they might be peonies I'm not gonna lie I'm not a flower person like I mean I like flowers but I don't know all of the flowers uh, they're gorgeous whatever they are maybe some carnations too lots of great sized boxes in here too some really pretty quotes again i'm not going to flip through this like super slow for all of them there are lots of flip throughs out there um but i just thought this color this color scheme this colorway ugh, these are beautiful sorry I'm, I'm I'm really in love like I waffled for a while about this and since it was out of stock I was like nah you don't need it you know you really don't need it crystal but then when it came back in stock and and happy planner had their black friday sale I was like I really 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 want it so I did I got it for myself for Christmas okay but I thought that the colorway here with these mauves and the kind of light like seafoam greens 
and a really pretty, I don't even know, is that black? I think it is black. So we've got some sage and some like seafoam green and some like taupe peach. This really deep, like rich, almost a brick red. I want to say it's like a brick red. And then the soft fluttery pinks and the line art. The line art butterflies and dragonflies and moths. I think it's just perfect with these really realistic flowers. So I thought the colorway would match really well with this um, monthly goal section that came out of the, the Happy Planner Be Happy box. I slipped one month's worth into my Franken planner for my personal goals and figured I would plan out. Um, I have tons of goals. <laughs> and I was like, Crystal, how are you going to break this down? So I had to like back myself up and like categorize all the goals that I had into the different categories of my life. So like my family and my home have goals. And then I have goals for my planning world. And then I have goals for my personal life. And then I had to back them up again and be like, okay, so these like five goals actually really fit under one goal and they're just action steps to achieve that goal. And this is perfect for that. So I worked it all out on a notebook, a happy planner notes book. There is R is R R. There are these, um, dashboards, like they're thicker material kind of like the tabs they're a thicker material to help you kind of do a big picture and work from the big picture down to your individual goals I don't know that I'm gonna do this at least not this quarter because I've already kind of done it on a separate thing I'll look into this on my free time because <laughs> I had so much of that and uh, see how well this will benefit me. If it won't, then I'm just going to leave it and maybe I'll do it another time. And maybe I won't. I mean, it's okay. It's my, it's my planner. All right. So I'm going to white out month of, because I'm not using this as a monthly goal tracker. I mean, I am kind of, this is where it's kind of hard to explain. Oh, I have two of these and I'm sure one of them's out. It's kind of hard to explain because this is set up for a month. You have a focus, you have three big goals, and then all the little actions and the rewards you're gonna reward yourself with. Then Happy Planner dives in here and gives you a habit tracker for the entire month for each goal. Then you have a weekly section for throughout the month. And then you have daily action items and like little check-ins. So each week there is a week and then dailies. And then you've got to, at the end of the week, you've got to check in and then it goes to the next week and then you've got your dailies. So, um, I thought maybe once a week I would do a daily. Now this is going to, I know this is going to blow everybody's minds. <laughs> Since there was only enough for four months, I decided to break it out into quarters. So I figured I could take this to quarterly. And this quarter's focus. And then these are my three big goals for the quarter. And I could track this. I don't know about the habit tracker, how well I'll use that. We'll, we'll talk about that later. I would turn this week's goals into this month. And so then I could take this and make this January. So positive quote to follow for the month, important due dates this month, three things that are going to help me achieve this month, three things that inspire me. And then each week I could do a daily to check in each week. And that way, one section or one month of that goal planning would last me for an entire quarter. And it would be less I don't want to say less consistent checking in because checking in is what we need when we're monitoring goals, right? But I feel like if I check it every single day on top of all of the other goals I'm tracking in other areas that I might get overwhelmed and give up. So I'm just going to push this to a quarterly section and that'll work perfectly because there's four, uh, four of those goal sections in that particular uh, planner. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and white out month of 
So there's going to be lots of customizations for this particular. I don't know how I'm going to. I don't, I don't really want to cover up this focus. Hmm. But I'm going to because it's not going to be month. It's going to be quarters focus. And this is going to be quarters goals. I could tr probably draw lines and do the habit tracking for each month, but I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that. We're just going to leave that. And we're going to do month of this month's goals. I'm just going to white out all the weeks. Whiten them out. And this is going to be this week. Because I feel like it will give me um, more consistency if I am not pushing myself to overachieve. Because I, I think we can expect too much of ourselves sometimes. And we know our limits, right? Like we know what we... We know when too much is too much. I could leave that as daily reminders. And I could probably even leave these as today's. Maybe I will go forward. List three wins from today. Nah. That's, that's going to be a week. All right. So, let's see. So, in January, we've got week one, week two, week three, week four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Monthly goal check in. So, that could be for the month. Maybe I'll just do it as I go, because I think I might get a little confused with marking all those out. I thought I had it planned out in my head, y'all, but I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not really certain what it's going to look like, because this is brand new. I do know that I want to decorate it all up, though, because who doesn't love having some colorful, beautiful encouragement, right? So the first thing I want to do is look for anything that says month in here. There's probably not much. I might just be adding florals. But that would be okay. I would be okay with just adding florals, actually. I'm like trying to make sure I'm in frame so you guys can see and that you're not getting a bunch of shadows. Make every day count. The sun will always rise. So looking for maybe some pretty quotes to put in here. I know I'm going to use some of these florals back here at the back. That's what I was eyeballing. Ah, start where you are. Live a life that is full. Get it done. Make your world a better place. There's so many. So many. And then all these, too. I kind of want to save those for, like, spreads, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, this is day. Today's goal. Get it done. Today's goal. Family day. You can. Day of errands. Errands. I know it's sideways, guys. <laughs> but I can read it. Uh, create something beautiful every day. Find joy in the ordinary. Good things are coming. How let your ideas bloom. Have faith. It's the perfect time to start. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to start. It's a perfect time to start. So that is more than an accurate statement. 
And then I think we should just go ahead and dive in with some of these florals too. Let's just commit. Let's just commit and do it, guys. I think that's always my biggest part when I start a new um, journal or page in my planners. Oh, I always have trouble getting these ones up. Um, is just committing to... Just committing to putting things down. And I'm not whiting out any lines underneath. You guys are welcome to. I can show you how to do it if you don't know how. If you don't know how. Like you can answer me. <laughs> so maybe I'll put this right up here at the top. It's the perfect time to start. I love it. Okay, let me just go ahead and take this sheet out. Maybe it'll make my life easier, huh? Set that off to the side. Making all the noise. Dig through my pen pile over here. I find when I start like filming videos, I really need to clean my scissors. I'm cutting myself off here. When I start filming videos, I end up with all the tools all over my desk. And it's always a mess. Do you guys like clean as you go? Or are you like just keep at it till, till you're all done? I think I'm just going to lay that down right over the top of that. Like I'm not going to be scared. <laughs> not going to be scared. Going to lay it right down. I'm probably going to need to punch that because I think that sticker is sticking, sticking a little bit into that hole. And I don't want it to give me problems when I go to, this is a crocodile punch. I got it on Amazon. But my understanding is, now I know it works really great for me to just punch single holes. You can use scissors and all the other things too. Um, but it also works really good for punching like vellum and laminate. Because the Happy Planner Punch will not punch through like the 10 mil laminates. I heard that. I don't remember who told me that. Somebody on one of their videos. It's not my it's not my information. I'm just sharing it. Just sharing the wealth. Sharing the wisdom. Sharing the wealth and wisdom. So we gotta put one of these here, a little mothy moth. This moth's big goals. <laughs> okay, I I don't care who you are. That's punny. That's punny. What if I put it there and then like put a little? <laughs> Do I have a little tiny box I could put over it and say months? That would like fit in there and not. I don't know. Will this fit or is it too big? Is it going to cover things up? Like what if I just white out the entire thing and I'll just write in. Cause, oh, it can't be this month. This is this quarters big goals and this quarters focus. Man, my moth punny's not going to work. Doggone it. I was super excited about it. I don't know if you guys could tell that or not. <laughs> I was excited to, to use my moth pun. Okay, and I don't normally plan on my sheets while you guys are on video. But I'm going to map out my goals on here and some of the actions and hope that I don't mess anything up while I'm sharing with you. <laughs> Everything's going to be perfect because I'm recording, right? Because that's how it works. Everything's always perfect when you're live, when you're, when you're recording live. I really like these stickers. Okay. I'm trying to find a box to put here to do quarterlies. I don't want it to be red again, but I don't want it to be tan. And I kind of have like this like seafoam green color. 
I could also do black, but I feel like we're already kind of heavy with some of the black on the top. What do you guys think? I know we're going to have to put some dragonflies and more flowers and moths on there. I'm just going to go crazy with this one because I want to refer to this a lot. I really want to come back to it a lot. I guess, should I just do the black? It's too bad it wasn't longer and then I could just cover up that bright blue too. I'm just gonna change it up entirely. I'm gonna make this whole spread mine. This color kind of matches okay and that's crooked. I did put that down crooked. Look at those stickers coming up off that Happy Planner paper without tearing it. Uh-huh. I see you, Happy Planner. I see you. Let me see if I can get it laid down straight. That might be a little bit better. I don't know, y'all. I'm really struggling. I need kind of a longer box. Hmm. What if I take, oh, that's really skinny. Huh, look at that. I find the little tiny bitty skinny ones after I already laid down that big one. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that out then. Wipe it all out. Turn my page sideways because that's what I do or upside down even. Let's do it upside down. And I'm going to try to line it up with that red one below just by eyeball because I never get crooked stickers. You know, I always get them straight. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm full of it tonight. Just full of lots of fun. I really don't like that being so big. Can I fix it? Can I just take it up? I mean, I don't know that I'm going to be able to use it anywhere because it's got that um, white out on it. Let's use this. See how much skinnier this is? I like that there's so many different sizes of boxes in here. Like these little bitty skinny ones are great. Especially like in minis or little, little tiny planners. They're going to be perfect. And I've got some minis I'm using this year. So I'm going to attempt to use. I should say that going to attempt to use some minis this year okay so again eyeballing hoping that I am getting it at least oh that's not straight at least semi straight that's better it's not really in line with the word big goals but meh it's mine you guys are gonna see it for this video in the picture and then <laughs> And then, and then, I'll just stick this back in my sticker book and hope that I can reuse it later. And if not, oh well. So we could do pretty boxes here. I'm wondering if I have any pretty washi that we could use. I just got some. But I don't know. This is from previously Girl Boss Anna, currently Narrative Hues. Oh, these are really long. I don't think they're going to fit in there. Like I'm shedding everywhere, too. It's going to be a long video, y'all. I could cut them down probably. They even kind of match like the dots underneath of them. Nope, because we're not we're not trying to match the dots underneath. We're trying to match Lafleur, Lafleur. Um, so what kind of washi do I got in here? That would look pretty. Oh, so pretty. Pretty. I know. Don't you guys love it when I don't have my mind made up and I just jump on here all willy-nilly and stuff? I kind of like those arrows, but I don't know that it fits what I'm, what I'm doing today. 
What do I got here? I have this like little speckly one. Stars and speckles. Hmm. I don't know. Shall we see what it looks like? Oh, I mean, I'm not certain if I love it or not. Nope, I don't love it. For reals though, Happy Planner, last year when I tried to take off, even washi was tearing. But I am going to have to use this washi soon because it's really pretty. I'm going to put it in my little bucket for this next week. <laughs> I have like a little bucket now on my desk where I can put things that I want to use next week. Okay, but I digress. I'm keeping you guys on here for hours. Hours. You don't got nothing better to do than hang out with me, right? <laughs> kidding, kidding. I know you do. I know. You guys, your time is precious. That's one of my... So, let's just talk about my goals a little bit while I'm filling this out then. So one of my goals is time, my routines. I want to get myself into a uh, routine in the mornings and in the evenings, allowing myself some flexibility, of course, because there's days that I have to leave to go to work early. There are days that we stay up late because we maybe have a family gathering or I have trouble sleeping because my shoulder's bothering me or something like that, right? So I need to give myself some flexibility. But my goal is to get myself some routines for the weekdays in the a.m. and p.m. and the weekends in the a.m. and p.m. They're going to be different. That way I can ensure that I'm treating my time as the priceless gift it is. I want to make sure that I'm prioritizing and like stewarding my time well and creating a buffer also to allow for some unplanned and unintentional like last minute opportunities to engage with other people, make connections, or just, you know, additional self-care time because that's one thing that I struggle with. And out of that time goal, it's going to free me up to create better habits with my, my faith life and spending time uh, in, in prayer and um, worshiping and studying the Bible. And it's going to give me additional free time. <laughs> so this one goal is going to stack for these other habits that I'm trying to create. And I say goal loosely because really when it boils down, I'm creating habits to achieve that goal. And then I'm going to stack additional habits in to achieve the goals that are kind of seriously like tied up. It was crazy when I started sorting out my goals. I was just like, hmm, <laughs> this is this is going to be interesting because they all kind of like affect each other. Each one of the things that I want to work on is affecting the other thing. So <laughs> it's it's actually gonna work out really nicely. I feel like I feel like it'll make it it'll definitely make it easier to achieve my goals. So what if we do a colored box inside of that? How do we feel about that? Like do a small color box inside of that? I feel like that's going to close up the room. But I know my three goals are time. But that's not. So I should put time here, faith here, and health here. And then like kind of write out the goals. That's a probably better idea. Look at me just navigating through this with you guys. Tell me what you think. Should I do it that way? Or should I just write one big word? Because <laughs> I know, like, the, the idea behind them. I kind of feel like I like the idea of writing out the, like, time in the box, the little box that's numbered, and then being able to write out kind of a, a motivation for that. Like, why do I want to work on my time? What specific goal with my time, and then why do I want to work on it? Like, the support for it. I don't know. That's kind of like, that's just kind of how I'm thinking right now. Kind of how I'm thinking right now. I feel like I could put a quote somewhere, but I'm not certain where. Like, I got a quote up here. I could 
probably slip this breathe down here at the bottom and do my rewards on the top line. I like that idea because I really like this. And I feel like if I put it, okay, I'm going to white out. This is just a jelly roll pen. This is the 10. So it covers the line a little easier. If I use the 10, it covers a little easier and I don't have to go over it so many times. So now I want to do these bottom lines as well. And I have found that the harder you press with these, like the less it covers the line. So I just kind of lightly, I don't know, dab bob, dab bob. <laughs> Oh, the words I come up with. I kind of lightly daub bob to get that. And then if you, I don't know, some people have like a little slider tool. I usually just use like my, my thumb on the side of my finger. But when you rub over clear stickers, then you don't see the little bubbles in the word and it looks more like it belongs on the page. That's so pretty. Some more florals over here for sure. Let me put my, cause I'm not gonna color behind all the florals. And am I still in frame for you guys or have I done wandered off? I probably wandered off, sorry. Sometimes I film with my little mount and I have to be like up at the top of my desk and sometimes I film with my big mount and I have to be down lower. One day I'll get it right. Like everything in moderation. You just gotta, you gotta work it out. You gotta sort out what works for you. Hmm. 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 I know I'm looking for florals, so let's go back to the front here. I know there was some up here that we were using. So we've got this sheet, and then we've got, yeah, we've got some more back here. Okay. So what do we got? I kind of feel like it should be like tall and skinny on this side to take up some of this side space. Tall and skinny. Tall and skinny. I don't want a washi strip though. That is not what I want. Not what I want. This is going to be a really long video. I may not, I may not write out. So I'll tell you each of my goals. I may not get them all written out. So the time is the first one working on AM PM routines for weekdays and weekends since they're going to be different. So I'm starting out by like uh, doing some time tracking, time study to figure out like how I spend my time currently. And then I will go back and review what I'm trying to add in to be a better steward of my time and where I can carve out some of the time I'm already spending on things where I'm just wasting my time. Like I'm literally not really doing anything productive with my time or not investing my time well. My uh, faith one is to spend more time in the word, doing my devotionals every single day, writing out scripture every day, being intentional about my prayers, and also starting to study the Bible again, whether that be joining a Bible study in person or online or just studying my Bible with my husband or at home on my own. I want to be doing that more often, at least once or twice. What did I say? Once or twice a month, I think was the goal. And then my health, I am trying to quit vaping. I have quit. I quit smoking almost quit for like a year and a half. Then I started vaping and I quit for six months and then I started back up again. And I just really, really, really want to quit vaping. I want to be a hundred percent smoke nicotine free. Um, and I think quitting vaping, I'll be replacing the time I spend doing that with other things, which I'm going to stack healthy habits in there. So it'll help me achieve some of my other health habits or goals that I'm looking forward to achieving. Okay, we were looking for florals. So those are the three focused goals for this first quarter for my personal life. 
and I just don't know you guys I kind of feel like this one maybe like down sideways and maybe um a bug <laughs> maybe a bug we'll put a bug over here I don't know if I want a dragonfly or a moth though I kind of want to do like a moth again like I want to save my dragonflies to do a spread that's got just more plain Sorry, brain, I, I just stopped mid-sentence. That's got more plain, um, I'm just going to lay that lightly there. More, more just dragonflies. Goodness, I'll spit it out, I promise. I'm really struggling today. Words are hard today. They're very, very hard. And I don't want to take up too much of my, whoop, come back here. I don't want to take up too much of my writing space. So I'm wondering if maybe I should turn this this way. Oh, I definitely like that better. All right. So before I go pressing, no, maybe I will press it down. But not on the other stickers. Crystal, get your life together. Just sealing it down to the page. I mean, and once you do this, you don't want to try to pull them up. That would not be wise because it probably will tear your paper then just because you really pushed it down. Oh. And it would definitely be harder to remove and quite possibly not want to come up. I already have been implementing some of my personal uh, habits. That's some of these actions that are going to help me, you know, achieve those ultimate goals for the, for the quarter. And, uh, I'll tell you, I have to say that I'm already feeling pretty, um, accomplished in some of them, not accomplished. That's not the word I'm looking for. Like I'm already noticing a difference. Oh, I might have to trim that. Yeah, because that's going to go right on my rewards line. Not that I'm going to give myself anything, you know, super fancy big. And this, you guys, Anna Bean on a Mission. She sells these on her shop. And they're just like little bitty. you got to be really careful. Because it's a little bitty washi strip or sticker cutter. And it's got a super... I don't know if I'm here. Let me see if I can lay it out here so you can see it. Like, it's got a super tiny point. And it's like a little pin. I love it. I'm just going to lay that down and try to hold it straight. That's my problem is that I feel like I'm holding it straight and cutting straight, but then like, I don't know, it kind of turned and it's really sharp. So you don't want to poke your paper because if you poke your paper, you're going to put a hole in it. All right. Oh yes. That is so pretty. I almost feel like I should have cut down and around that let's see if i can i think i kind of pressed this down already but maybe i can it's just got a fine point on it so it makes it a little easier to cut around it's not super big so it's definitely easier to shape with like to do those sharp turns and corners i love 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 it so glad that she sells them in her shop. Love it. Do I want this leaf up here? Do I want it down here? I feel like it would be out of place down there. I feel like it might not be too bad right here. So I'm just going to slap it down. And I'm going to put that, that cutter down because God knows I will stab myself. I am the world's worst. I'm on anticoagulants, so every time I get a little paper cut or I poke myself, it's like Old Faithful erupts. Like it's never going to stop. Okay. There we go. I don't know. Am I done? Do I want to add more florals? Oops, I'm going to bend my paper. Getting overzealous. 
I'm so excited to write in it. What do you guys think? Should I add more florals? Should I add more bugs? Should I add more boxes? Should I bring in some of the bullet points? The colored bullet points? I kind of feel like maybe here. But if I do one row, then I feel like I have to do all the rows. Hmm. I'm going to debate it. Let me know in the comments because I can always add them when I go to fill it out. I am not going to um, complete this on film because I know I'm already. Wait, I'm going to add another sticker. I'm going to cover that line up. Um, maybe. Maybe I'll find another sticker to put there. I'm already. Like, this is a really long video. So. I'm not going to stay on here. But if you guys think that I should add those uh, bullet points let me know in the comments because I am always up for trying what you guys suggest and maybe I'll just color them with um, a Corilla graphs or a dot marker change the colors a little bit I really want to put something there but I don't know what because these flowers are all really big I kind of want a small flower but I don't think I have a small one in here unless I cut one of these washi strips part way apart, but I think that would be too clustered to go with what we've got going on on the page already. Might be too, oops, turn my pages out. Might be too much. And sometimes there's, a, you know, like there's a sticker on a box you can cut off or a flower or something like you can cut the corner of a box off and put it up there, but nothing, nothing is catching my eye. Maybe we'll, what do we got here? If these were smaller little circles, I could put one up there. But a quote on a quote, yeah, I'm not super fond of quotes on quotes either. I know, I'm very picky. But I'm okay with it, you know, I mean, Ooh, I could put these in here. But then we have all this cover up here and none down here. Maybe I could cover reward and then write it in white what my rewards are on like the black banners. Oh, another idea, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm not certain that that's what I wanna do. I know I'm so indecisive. <laughs> so indecisive. Okay. Well, that's it then. <laughs> and that's all, folks. So there you have it. There is my goal sheet. I will hopefully get it filled out this weekend and get you guys an after the pen photo. Uh, maybe if I have some time, I'll jump back on and film a little snippet to add to this video. Um, and maybe you will get to see me fill it out. So maybe it's ta-ta for now. See you in the next one. And maybe it's ta-ta for now. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Sorry I was so silly tonight. I am just in kind of a kind of a great mood. Talk to you guys later.